Yo guys, it is me, I'm back. Now, today's video is going to be more of a like informal chat sort of thing. I haven't made any notes, not made any structure to it, so it might seem a little bit like jumbled. But it's going to be, effectively, we're going to chat about cutting and bulking. More on the, along the lines of, is it the right time for you to cut or should you carry on bulking? This is more framed at beginners. But you can take this no matter what. Like effectively, you can take it no matter how experienced you are and how non-experienced you are. Cutting and bulking. If you don't understand the terms or you're not familiar with them, bulking is the idea of the goal is build as much muscle mass as possible. Cutting is dropping body fat to show off the built muscle mass. That's effectively the idea behind the two. I don't really like the words cutting and bulking. It just sounds a bit weird to me. But they are, they are the generic terms used, so I have to use them kind of the way it is now obviously summer's coming up so everyone's gonna be like hoo -hoo, summertime holidays i'm gonna look sick shreds yeah it might not be the best idea for you to all do that now i'm going to tell you why i'm got i don't know why i lent down there then just kind of fall off into the abyss first off i'm just gonna say these are my opinions and thoughts that's all i'm just gonna say disclaimer <laughs> now first off if you're in your first six months of training or you haven't trained for a long, long time and you're in your first six months of going to the gym and training, whatever it may be. Literally, take the word cutting and shredding, take that, shredding, put it into a ball, screw it up, and throw it as far as you can. I don't want to hear the word cutting or shredding coming out of your vocabulary unless you're in a kitchen cooking some food. Because you're going to ruin your own self if you do that. When you're new, you get beginner gains. So, speed through this. You get gains very quickly, more quickly than anyone else. You can do press ups and get more gains than someone lifting 100 kilos on a bench press when they've been training for five years. And if you go into a deficit, which is effectively what you are in when you're cutting, you will ruin your beginner gains and not build as much muscle or strength. You will build some still, but you won't build as much. So if you do do it, you're an idiot. And I want you to really understand that I think you're an idiot. No offense, but you're an idiot. That's a bit harsh. You're an idiot. Just had to say it again, just get my point across. And now I'm going to move on from that subject before I get too annoyed. So yeah, that's that kind of... If you're now in the year to two years, it's at that point where if you cut, you might not look how you think you will or you want to. These are girls and guys alike this goes for. Anything I say, girls and guys, no difference. It's the exact same thing. Now, both girls and guys have an idea in their head. They're going to say, oh, I want to look like him or him or him. Right, that's something you shouldn't do because you won't because you're you. But you're going to have an idea of how you want to look. Now, if you don't spend time building muscle and building that shape, you're not going to look like how you think you will at the end of a cut. You can say, right, for 12 weeks, I'm going to diet. I'm going to lean down. Uh, I've gone on a holiday in 12 weeks, so I'm going to look good for that. You'll look better. Don't get me wrong. But you won't look how you think you will. You will look the same, pretty much, just smaller. You can be this big and then... Go to that big, but look the same. You're going to have the same shape because you haven't spent time building that muscle underneath. When guys and girls spend time building muscle, then they lean down and then you, you, they can show off all this. They get that new shape. They get the, the curves they want. They get the, the width they want, whatever it may be. If you don't spend time building that, you're never going to get it. So if, you're, if you've bulked for four months and you think, oh, I'm going to cut now, you're an idiot. Because four months ain't long enough to build a substantial amount of muscle. Bulking short term never gets you results you need to long-term bulk and long-term build muscle and it is a slow process and it's one you've got to have patience with you can potentially only build like a kilo of muscle a month and that's if you're training recovery nutrition's on point for the whole four weeks of each month and you might only build a half a kilo to a kilo it isn't a lot so four months worth of bulking you're not going to look any different you're effectively just going to put on some body fat lose it and look the same and then you start yo-yoing. You just go back and forth, like bulk for four months, drop down, and you just start going here. You never actually go over here and go in front of that point. You just back and forth between this point, which is what you don't want to do because performance-wise in the in the gym, like strength-wise, you probably won't build much, which is no one wants. If you if you're in like your four years plus training and you think, oh, I've got a good substantial amount of size on me now, and I want to lean up a bit, then that's a good idea. You can lean up and you'll have a good shape and you'll look really good but if you haven't been training that long and you haven't you, you wouldn't say you're big then leaning up you'll just look small even if you are shredded to the bone with clothes on you're gonna look small that's the thing when you bulk you look bigger with clothes on smaller with clothes off when you're cutting you look smaller with clothes on and bigger with clothes off it's just the illusion of being more defined more muscles being shown if you're big and you get a bit smaller you'll still be big and you'll look even bigger with your top off but if you're 
not that big to start with, you're going to look shredded with your top off. Don't get me wrong, but people are going to look at you and think you're still quite small. And if you don't want that, then you need to spend time building. So if you're in your first years, two years, I'll say bulk for 12 months. Like, forget the summer shredding. The only time I'd say if you should sh uh, maybe cut for a bit is if you're a little bit too fat at that time. So you've put a bit too much body fat on. So mini bulks might be the way to go. Might only be like a four week cut. Uh, mini bulks, I meant mini cuts when I said that. You might only want to do like four weeks. Be a bit more aggressive with it. Four weeks, drop some body fat nice and fast. And then go straight back into your bulk, so you don't you you hin you don't hinder your muscle progress, building progress process, but you will drop that little bit of fat, so you can still maintain a semi lean look. It's what you should. If you're in a bulk, you should still look semi lean. You shouldn't look fat. The only time going back to like the beginners thing, uh, if you're in your first six months actually, is that if you've got a, quite a bit of excess body fat and you're quite big then it would be a good idea to cut because health comes first over fitness. So health wise, it would be a good idea for you to drop that body fat. Now you will still build muscle is if you're, if you're doing resistance training, which you should be always, everyone should be lifting weights and doing some form of resistance, whether that be body weight, uh, added weights, so external loads being added on, whatever it may be, you should still be doing resistance training. But yeah, if you're heavier, and you have a lot more excess body fat, then yes, it would be a good idea from a health standpoint straight away to do that. And then once you get down to a point where you think, okay, now you can start looking at a bulk potentially. Because um, that's effectively the only way you're gonna build muscle is if you're in a bulk. You need to be in a calori calorific surplus to build muscle, which is a bulk. And when you're in a bulk, you have to just accept you will put on some body fat. Not everyone stays lean the whole year round. But the idea is that you bulk slowly and only just bulking like just into a surplus so that you do maintain as much leanness as possible and limit the amount of body fat you put on but yeah if you're thinking about cutting you know at the end of the day it's your decision um and your your own person and it's very individual but if you think oh i'm not as big as i'd want to be then carry on bulking just, just literally carry on it's going to be the best thing you've ever done i bulked uh, i mean i cut for the first time last year in my life and i've been training what six six years now seven years um and i've only cut once and that was because me and two two mates at uni had a competition who could get the leanest i won and if they disagree they're wrong because i won <laughs> and to be fair it was the best thing i've ever done because since then i've been able to maintain more of a lean look even though i'm trying to build muscle and go into a bulk i can still look lean where before i was kind of never lean where it was the best thing i did but I was training for six years before I even did that um, and I built a good amount of muscle so that when I did lean down I was still over 90 kilos and had some size about me still where if I wasn't that big I might have thought I don't really want to because I don't want I don't want to look small that's just a personal thing I don't like being small and I well hopefully never will be but yeah six years worth of training and then I did my first ever cut I weren't always bodybuilding that long, so I played a lot of rugby, a lot of sport, so it was a lot more for performance. But this time, I just thought, right, I'm gonna lean up now, because we had this competition. Did it, absolutely loved it, and it's the best thing I've ever done since. So that gives you a thing. I took six years before I did my first time. If you're, if you're in your, whatever, thinking about it, just carry on, build loads of muscle, build, get strength, chase numbers in the gym. So much more fun than looks. Just chase numbers, you'll feel better for it. It can take the mind off how you look because you're trying to chase a bench press, a deadlift or a back squat or whatever it may be. A lot more fun and a lot more beneficial. Looking good and aesthetics should be a byproduct of training for health and performance and what you're doing in the gym. Looking good just comes from that. I never trained to look good, which is why I probably never did a cut till last year. But in doing so, it helped me massively. But yeah, so that's just me. But if you're thinking about cutting, make sure you're in the right place to do it effectively. If not, carry on bulking. If you're thinking about bulking and you've never done it before, mate, do it. Guys or girls, girls especially, seem to not like bulking. Just do it. You're, give yourself two years down the line. You're going to thank yourself that you did it because it's, you're going to look so good at that point when you decide, right, I've built a good amount of muscle and now I've lost that body fat and you're going to look where you want to be. Again, I just thought this would be a little chat. It's very informal, very unstructured, but I just wanted to give some off the top of my head thoughts on 
whether you should cut a bolt. I think I did. God knows what I've just said in this video. I, I tend to ramble and tend to go off topic a lot and lose my train of thought. Okay guys, so I do hope you enjoyed it. I literally hope you enjoyed it because it took me a while to film this because I kept forgetting what I said so I had to keep stop the video and start recording again and brrr, dressing myself out pretty much. And this lamp is making me so warm. Why can't you get cold lamps? Is that a thing? Can we have cold lamps? Like lamps and a fan mixed. Now that is what I need. I need that. I just stared straight into it and I can't see now. Bloody hell. But if you did like the video, please show that by hitting the thumbs up button. Please comment down if you would like to. Share the video with someone if they need this information or whatever it may be. Share the channel with them. Bring them to me. Put me to them. We can have fun together. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make me feel happy when that number goes up. So if you want me to be happy on this lovely Sunday, then please hit the subscribe button. Or whatever day you're watching this. It could be a Monday. Monday Blues. Let me have a subscription from you. Yep, yeah, I'm going to go. So I will catch you in the next one. Hopefully next week. I missed two weeks now in a row. Sorry to myself, um, and sorry to anyone who wanted to watch a video for the last two weeks, but uh, things happened, I was busy, and yeah, life. So I'm going, goodbye, and see you next week.